Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use Python to study foreign languages. And in particular, the method of studying foreign languages is to create digital flashcards where you have characters in a foreign language and English translations. And in order to use this tool, I've actually already created the Python code. So all you need to do is go and download that and I've included that in the description below and then you can actually just start to run it. So I'll walk you through all the steps that it'll take to run this code. So let's get started. So first, you'll need to save the actual Python code. And what you need to do is first create a folder. So here I've called that folder Study Master. And in Study Master, this is where you'll want to have both your Python code that you download, as well as the files that of, and containing the vocabulary that you want to study. So you can see here, I have the study master Python code, as well as CSV files for all the vocabulary that I want to study. So once you've put that in a single folder, then you'll be ready to use the code. On this left side screen here, I have an example of what you can include in that CSV. So if you don't have Microsoft Word or a regular text editor, you can always use Google Spreadsheets, which is free to use. And here I'll show you the format that you'll need to put the vocabulary in so that you can actually use the Python code that I've written. So in the first column, you'll need to have a column labeled characters. And in, under this, you want to have all the vocabulary that you want to study for this particular week or this particular instance. And then in the second column, you'll include the English translation. Now, once you have this, you can just go to File and you can download this as a CSV. And the CSV, a Commerce Separated Values document, is what we're going to need in order to study Python through the study master Python code. Okay, so once you've downloaded that, again, go, go to your file management and make sure that you've organized that under the same folder as the Python study master code. This is just make it a lot easier to reference the CSV once we actually run the code. Okay, great. So now that you've gotten that done, you'll want to open something that you can actually run Python in. And if you're a Mac user, you can use terminal. So I've got terminal open. Uh, and if you're not familiar with command line, the first thing that you'll want to do is just change the directory to this folder that we created here so that you can reference the code. So we'll do change directory desktop study master, which is the name of the folder that I've selected. And once you enter that folder, you can then begin to start Python. And you can do that by typing in Python and referencing the study master Python code. Okay, great. So the code itself first will ask you for the file name. And if you remember, we downloaded our vocabulary sheet as a CSV file. So whichever file you want to start studying, just reference that sheet. So as the example here, I'm going to reference this file. Okay, so it's read that file and it's going to ask you, do you want to practice English translation, which means that the program will spit out the foreign language characters and you type in the English, or do you want to study the foreign language um, by providing the foreign language trans translation of the English characters. So in this case, I'm going to want to practice the English. And then how many rounds would you like to study? This will keep prompting the program to ask you X number of times and test you on X number of vocabulary until we reach that number. So I'm going to study just for example here, five rounds. Okay, great. 
So you'll see the vocabulary and you'll need to type in the English translation for this. So I see these characters and I'm going to type the translation and it's correct. And then I see the second one. Now, if I type this incorrectly, it's actually going to give you a chance to try again. You may have had a typo or you may have sort of forgotten or confused it for another character or phrase. So you can try this again. Okay, so I still got that wrong. And you can just keep doing this. Keep studying. And you can see that I'm purposely getting a few wrong here so that you can see what happens when you get them wrong versus right. Okay, great. So you'll see the test results here. I got three correct, two wrong, which means that I got 60% of them correct. And then this will actually list out the specific words that you got incorrect so that you can go back and review them again. Finally, you'll be asked whether you want to study again. If you click yes, then you'll have to type in the number of rounds again. If you click no, it will actually exit the program and you can go and do something else. Okay, well, that was it. Hope this was helpful and hope that you can actually um, learn and study vocabulary uh, through this program. Thanks.